Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Reese number 602A. This is a door sweep with a neoprene insert and an aluminum holder, and the 602 is representative of that profile. You've got an aluminum holder here with a solid piece of neoprene that's back here. It's, by the way, typical and common for it to run long from the factory. It's the case on both ends. It's for you to trim. Exactly. This client specifically asked for it to run about a half inch longer than standard. Solid neoprene. This is going to smell like car rubber tire is what it is rather than it being, this is what's a closed cell. So it's quite um, durable, maybe even rigid, less than uh, pliable. So you're going to want to make sure that the approach that you have to the threshold does not require an extreme amount of bending. Uh, you don't want to have a lot of compression to be asked for by the, uh, of this door sweep uh, by your door closer. This would be something that you are uh, going to install onto an application where you can be sure of a very positive seal without um, having to rely on uh, itself closing perhaps. This may not be the best option. It's stiff is what I'm trying to say. It's very heavy duty. This might be appropriate for making contact in this sort of orientation, okay, butting up something, uh, butting up to something like maybe a sill. You might have a hollow metal door installed and there might be a step down. Well, the door is installed on the exact outside masonry wall and there's nowhere for the threshold to go because it's just flush. So you might have a half saddle type threshold and have this just literally come up and make contact with the face real well. And in that application, this would be a great piece of harbor because that's a it's like an eighth of an inch thick piece of solid neoprene. The dimensional properties are below this video. Let's go over it now. It's an inch and three quarter overall height door sweep, and that makes it an incredibly common sort of size when you're discussing what we, we might call a heavy duty door sweep. Uh, you've got one inch worth of the extrusion. You've got three quarter inch worth of the neoprene. The thickness is nominal. It's probably about three sixteenths of an inch. Yeah, that's about what it is. Okay, this is going to be available. Well, this, the A is mill aluminum finish. That's just mill aluminum. That's what the aluminum looks like when it comes from the mill. You can get it in C finish, which is a clear anodized. You can get it in a D finish, which is dark bronze anodized. Uh, and then also a G finish, which is gold anodized. All four of those on aluminum, either on aluminum based material or just the mill finish. There is a link below this video to a document called product brochure where you can pull up the 602 and review it against all of uh, Reese's immediate sister products as it pertains to some door sweeps. The 603 is the same item just in a vinyl insert. Why you would want vinyl I couldn't say because of the low performance properties of vinyl but if economy was the most important aspect you'd certainly look at vinyl. The really super one that I would consider strongly if what you're looking for is heavy duty is that polyurethane, that 772 or the 773 um, polyurethane is off the charts uh, high performance. Excellent abrasion resistance, resistance to fungus, mildew, ultraviolet exposure, extreme temperatures. All ultra, polyurethane is ultra high performance and would consider that very strongly. Neoprene is on that page as well. Um, like the 602, but also a brush. So this tear sheet out of the catalog will show you some different inserts. Vinyl I would avoid at all costs unless it was about cost. Neoprene's a good go-to except that it's not very flexible, uh, so keep in mind uh, your application. That polyurethane is tremendous. I would consider that, uh, etc. Just because the 825A has a triple fin vinyl, you know, a lot of people like that. And certainly it makes a lot of sense too, um, but it's still vinyl at the end of the day. Now, moving on, this is available in several different lengths. If you have need for a custom length, by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and indicate in the comment field what net length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. Now the reasoning is, is if you had to take this 36 inch piece and cut it down to say 32 inch, you'd eliminate that slotted hole that's there. And speaking of that slotted hole, screws are included in a complementary finish. It looked like to be about a number six by five eighths 
pan head style screw. That slotted hole is handy to have because it will allow you to, within reason, be able to tailor the installation on a sill that may not be level, or perhaps a set of doors that are no longer plumb, or there's some pushed in and out toed action on the bottom of the frame uh, that might cause you to want to be able to tailor that. It also helps compensate that slotted hole for a misdrilled hole. You know when you're pre-drilling your screw hole, that drill bit has a tendency to walk a little bit before it pierces into the door, whether it's wood, aluminum, stainless, fiberglass, bronze, um, steel, hollow metal, uh, if you've not used a center punch. So it's, ha it's, it's helpful there. As you can see, this is held on with adhesive. It's when you screw, when you install it via the screws is when the installation will become permanent. You might have to pre-drill that a couple of times to open up enough of that vinyl on the back side there. So if you ordered a custom length, will not only give you that slotted hole the proper distance from the edge, but the proper center to center as well. In conclusion, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up the full line Reese product catalog and review all things weather stripping from Reese, to which I'm partial. They're the quality of their weather stripping is, in my opinion, tied for first in my of all the weather stripping people in terms of quality, thickness of the extrusions. Um, really get me. They, uh, it's heavy duty material, and they advertise the thickness of their extrusions. Um, if I'm going to be supplying a job where cost is less important than the final output. Reese is my immediate go-to because of the quality of the material. I'm a fan of their dark bronze anodizing. I like that specific color that they have. I'm an even bigger fan of their customer service, their tech support, and their shipping lead times. They're industry leading. There's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only the Reese products that we sell, but uh, the full line product catalog and review all things we, uh, Reese weather stripping. Not only door sweeps like this, but thresholds, perimeter gasketing, material made of aluminum like the 602, stainless steel, and architectural bronze as well. If you have any questions on the Reese 602A, aluminum and neoprene style door sweep, or any other Reese product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.